Hi lovely people and welcome back to another video here on this channel. If you're new here, my name's Shireen and I talk all things sewing and homemaking. So if you'd like to join the sewing family, I would love if you guys joined. I really hope you're doing really well. Autumn is truly in full swing and the autumn decorations are out and I can't wait to show you those. My pumpkin mug is out. Um, I actually found this in the pound shop for £1.50. So um, yeah, I would definitely go and check it out if they've got one in your local one if you want one because I had my eye on the, I think it's the Anthropology or the um, Oliver Bonus one, but it was like £15 for a mug and I thought I just couldn't justify it and plus I like the shape of this a bit better because it's not like too curved. There's a really big difference between a quite thin ceramic mug and a really thick one and there has to be a fine balance between the two for optimum temperature regulation. <laughs> So yeah, loving my pumpkin mug, as you can tell. That might be me going completely loony, but let me know if you also think the same. I think it makes all the difference. Today, I've got quite a few different things planned. Um, I'll show you obviously the autumn decorations. This is also new as well. I got this from Wilco, which was actually in the clearance section for like £2.50, so it was an absolute steal. I've also got a lot of little bits and bobs to do in the garden today. I really need to sort of de-weed some of the potted plants. There's some plants I have already popped into the summer house. And actually, especially the geraniums, they're really thriving in there compared to when they were outside. They're actually flowering a lot more. So um, I can't bear to bring my hydrangeas in because they're just in a such a beautiful location to look out of the kitchen window and appreciate the lovely bright pink flowers but I also need to be planting my bulbs ready for the springtime. Now um, I think I just spoke about this in one of my previous videos and if you missed that one I'll link it down in the description box down below um, but I got a really exciting array of flower varieties that I can't wait to see bloom next spring actually last week my delivery arrived I've got my box here ready which I haven't opened yet I thought I would do that today with you guys I'm going to do some little um, landscaped ones so they're not all going to go in the ground some of them are going to go in little baskets and little trucks that I managed to thrift which again I do have a thrift haul that I did recently as well which that should be going live very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that one because I've got some real goodies in that one and I also have some seeds that I've collected that I just want to um, sort and organise because I want to give them to some friends and family um, because I've got some extras that I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to plant and I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm sure someone would love to have those. And yeah, I just thought I'd take you along really because it, it's that time of year where we're just, just about going into winter and it's getting super cosy. It's also getting pretty dark. Not gonna lie, I'm actually surprised my camera's making it brighter than it actually is today. But yes, I'm all for the cozy vibes, so let's get stuck in with the day, shall we? Right, you're now joining me in the utility room and I've decided to close the door because um, whatever they're doing next door is pretty noisy. Um, but I thought I would get the seeds done. Move. Now there were some seeds I just literally popped in a bag because um, I didn't have time to separate them then. I'm just not sure what the state of them is. I hope they haven't gone mouldy, let's see. This is the bag of Nigellas, which actually, I'll show you in a minute, but the Nigellas, the seeds that had dropped before have already started to sprout again. No, they're okay actually. I'm just gonna extract the seeds from them essentially. Um, I also have two bags of um, these are African lilies, so I need to separate and organise those. And then, I think it's just a general case of just organising things because I've got things like these small envelopes that I want to organise. Um, I usually save these silica gels from like packages and stuff so that I can make sure that the seeds don't get wet and mouldy. Um, I keep some of these aside for propagation of the ivy. There's a couple of bulbs that... I actually look like they're sprouting already, is that possible? So I bought these, I don't know where I got these from. 
But are they already sprouting? Is that normal? These are tulips. Should they already sprouting already? Oh my god, they have started sprouting already. We need to get these planted. These are the other ones. How beautiful are they? Um, but yeah, look how long that, that little sausage is there down there. Yeah, well, anyway, they're growing. So I definitely need to get those in pots soon. I'm definitely doing that today. Um, I would like some more spring onions, but so indoors between March and June. So yeah, this is not time yet. So this needs to go in the seed box. So I have this lovely box that I got from... Um, I actually thrifted from the shop, it's actually just a biscuit tin, but I just thought it was really cute with the little scenery. And I thought it'd be great just to store some extra seeds and stuff. So there's some more silica gel. We've got stuff like chives, which is leaking. We've got some nigella seeds. We've got the chives. The rest are packaged ones that I think I'm gonna plant, plant in following years. There's some more nigellas there, which is literally overflowing. And more nigellas, which are literally overflowing. Let's put those out. And more nigellas. Yeah, the nigellas are going mental this year, so. Nigella seeds, what are we going to do with you? What are we going to do? So yeah, there's a lot of other seeds here that I haven't planted yet, which I'll need to go through and plant it maybe next year. What are these? Oh, these could be... Yes, these are courgette seeds, I need to label those. I did not enjoy um, collecting the courgette seeds at all. I found it super, super hard work and I'm not sure if it really was worth it because there was a lot of um, seeds in there that were either quite mushy or folded or just didn't look like they would survive. So. So I'm going to start just getting some sellotape and um, a pen just so I can start labelling and organising the seeds and also so I can distribute them to friends and family so they can um, also plant some. Let's do that. I have a feeling this is going to be quite therapeutic. I'm going to start with doing the de-weeding of the potted plants um, and I have a couple of my cuttings that have actually since got new roots which is super exciting um, but what I'm going to do is put them in little pots and get them planted so they can start setting root in the soil. And then what I think I'm gonna do is gonna make a start on the actual autumn bulbs because there's a lot to plant and I'm not sure if I'm gonna to manage to get them all done today because there's a lot of them. Um, but I will show you which ones I've got. I've got mainly the one from the order that I made, which you would have seen in my one of my vlogs. I'll pop the link down below for that video if you missed it. But there's also a couple of extras that I got from a place like Wilco and the garden center. So I'll show you those as well. I'm not going to be doing much talking outside because there's a man banging on the other side of the fence. Probably a bit too embarrassed to talk up there. So, um, sorry guys, but I'll take you along. <laughs> I don't know how long he's going to be, you see, so I want to make sure that I at least get this video up for you guys anyway. So, let's start.
So earlier you just saw me put the cuttings that now have roots into the pots. They were the hydrangeas, which have been doing amazingly. They're the bright pink ones that you can see from the kitchen window. So those are done, so that's brilliant. What I've also done is pre-filled my little baskets with soil, ready for me to put in my bulbs. But I thought I would share with you the bulbs first, because I actually haven't looked at these since I ordered them. So this was a big box. And um, yeah, so essentially they were on pre-order and then they're sent fresh um, as soon as they're ready. So in theory, they should be the most viable bulbs ever. Let's hope. we have five of the Mount Everest allium which needs to go in 20 centimeters deep which is quite a lot actually so these may need to go straight in the ground and then we have ten of the purple sensations which are also the alliums which are a bit more the brighter purple ones and these go 15 centimeters deep and while we're on the topic of alliums, we have the allium molly and azurium, azurium mix. And so there's 25 in here. And these can go a bit shallower at 10 centimetres deep. So these are a mixture of these ones here and these purple ones up here. And they're actually much smaller, these ones. So I might put these in a pot. Mm, maybe not, because they need to be 8 centimetres apart. So there's those. Oh, these are the ones that I was the most excited about. These are the anemones. Yes, the anemones. And there are 25 in here. Wow. 8 centimetres deep and 10 centimetres apart. And this is beautiful purple. How lovely is that? And they grow 30 centimetres tall, so they're quite tall actually. So those are those. Then we have the Crocus Botanical Mix. They're the purple and yellow ones. And these are the more low-lying ones. These are the ones that I'm going to pop along the edge of the border. Yeah, I'm actually debating whether I should put this in the actual um, indoor one. Whether I should put them outdoors. Maybe I should just do a mixture of both. That could work as well. And um, we have the really cool daffodils. They're massive bulbs, and they also go 40 centimetres tall. And they do. These can actually look quite nice in the pot. We also we also have a proper mix, which is like random. Could be any of these potentially. That looks fun. And then we've got the low lying tulip lilac wonder. And again, these are really low line ones. These ones I was also thinking of putting on the edge of the border. Um, they could also look quite cute in, in the little baskets around the edge. Hmm. And these two may be my favourite. It's the Tulip Angelique. It looks like that. And the Amazing Grace, which Right, the alliums I'm going to leave for another day because they need to be put in the ground, which I don't have the energy to dig holes at this point in time. I'm more wanting to do the baskets today. So let's put the big alliums away. Right, guys, I've decided. So the alliums are going to go into the ground, apart from these ones, which I'm going to put in a pot because they're slightly lower. They can go in at 10 centimetres. And then what I'm going to do is... These are also going to go in the ground in the back of the garden. And also the daffodils are also going to go into the garden. But the ones I'm going to do in my actual pots, so in my truck and in my other basket, which I'm going to show you at the end just because it's quite heavy to lift. Um, and there's not much table space at the minute. So I'm going to be using 
these two in the two baskets and using these circumferentially at, at the base because they're a bit lower so let's do that and then in my big pot that's outside I'm going to do a mixture of these two with this in front because it's slightly lower and then I think that's a plan let's get messy So here we've got the first basket, we've got the tulips and we've got the anemone in the centre, two there and then the tulip wonders around the front. This is the little basket that's all just tulips and in here in these three we've got the um, allium mix and yeah I'm going to go fill them and top them up with some more soil. Oh my gosh I'm exhausted, I've just come in from outside and i think i've only planted like a third of the bulbs and i'm like absolutely exhausted <laughs> completely underestimated how tiring and long that would take um but yeah anyway the nice potted ones are all done but i want to maybe fill up a couple of other big pots with bulbs and i will pop some in the ground but that's a job for another day i think i'm just gonna have some lunch even though it's 2 30 so it's pretty late already and once I've organised, I'm going to do some sewing. So, yes, I make too many plans for myself sometimes that I, I have no concept that I might be tired by the end of those tasks, um, which is good in some ways, because I mean, I do get a lot done, but at the same time, I think I can get quite defeated and it's probably like an unrealistic amount of things to do anyway, so... I shouldn't be so hard on myself but yeah it's getting quite dark already and it's only 2 30. oh what was here so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to watch some more sewing vlogs or vlogs in general then i'll leave a playlist here so you can catch up on those and if you want to see some of my thrifting hauls i'll leave a video up here for you to watch as well but until next time happy sewing <laughs>